Hey everyone, I'm back at Green Street Joinery with Jeff and Jeff's made some progress on the panels that we're working on this project with Sawstore Hardware. Looks like you've got the, the panels built and mm -hmm. you're about to cut out what will be the doors. Right, so what I did is I went ahead and marked all of our offsets. We want to have equal four inch reveals all around. Uh, so I marked out where the cut is and you know with the track saw it's simple enough to just lay the track on the line and make a cut. And this is the Makita track saw. I don't have a track saw. I'm actually in the market for a track saw. I know a lot of people use the Festool. Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen that many others other than the Makita. Why do you use the Makita? Well, um, I'm pretty heavily invested in the Makita battery platform. So that's sort of top, top of the list. I did have a Festool TS55, which is the corded version of the you know same size saw. Um, I found that it seemed a little underpowered, um, so I, I traded another tool with a, uh, an Instagrammer for this, and I haven't looked back. It's a great saw. And you find the fact that this is cordless, it's just as powerful as the mm -hmm. corded version Festool? Yeah, I haven't had any, any uh, power issues. The best part of it being cordless is when you hook up your vacuum, that's really your only tether to anything. So it's easy to move around, it's one less cord to get for caught sure. on things. One feature I really like is for cross grain cuts, we have this little button here. If you push this in, the saw will actually only drop down a very small amount. So you can make a scoring pass. Then you pull the little switch out and it'll drop down to your full cut. Wow. So when you're making cross grain cuts on plywood, in order to prevent a lot of blowout or tear out, you do that little scoring pass, pull it back, drop it down, and, and make a nice clean cut. Yeah, that's a huge advantage. Yeah. So you're gonna be, you're gonna be using that uh, when you do the cross cut here. Right. The only um, thing that this doesn't have that the Festool has is a riving knife, but I haven't really found that I've needed it. Not cutting, we're cutting mostly sheet stock with this, so there's not a lot of binding. Um, if you have things clamped up nice, it's, it's not really a problem. All right. Well, let's see how it works. Sure. So we have our track all lined up for the cut here. This is our intersecting line. That'll be the bottom of the door. Now on this Makita saw, we have the, these little lines here in the front and the back. These indicate the location of the blade when you have the depth setting as deep as possible. A lot of times with three quarter material, you want to set your blade to just on, you know, just over three quarters of an inch. Now in this situation, because we're going to leave these corners attached and you know finish the cut with the saw we want the blade as deep as possible so we get the smallest amount of leftover waste to cut out So one of the nice things about this Makita saw is the scoring feature. I'm not aware of any other saws that have it. There's a little button back here. When making cross grain cuts, you can turn it on and it will only allow the blade to drop down about a 16th of an inch. So that lets us get a nice scoring cut across the grain here with very little tear out. Uh, so we'll make our scoring cut first, bring the saw back, pull this out and we'll be able to make our full depth cut. So a good tip when cutting out a panel like this, you know, you run the risk of this wanting to fall through when you finish these two cuts that were left by the, you know, circular shape of the saw blade. You can actually wedge these with some shims from underneath. This way won't be able to fall.
Okay, so that worked out fantastic. It's a really nice cut. Yeah, it's quick and easy with the track saw. I mean, it makes these difficult cuts easy. Yeah, it's smooth. And you'll be adding some molding here next. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to beef up this plywood so you can attach the hinge. Right, so we'll turn these into inch and three quarter doors. And then we'll have enough meat there to get these 518 hinges in. All right, thanks, Jeff. Thanks, John. Well, it's always good to see the guys over at Green Street Joinery. I will be going back there in a few days once the wall is completely finished and we'll be making a video about the SAS 518 secret door hinge. I was pretty excited to learn a little bit more about the Makita track saw. It's definitely on my list for a, another tool in the shop. And you can follow Green Street Joinery. I'll have a link to their Instagram down below. And you can check out their podcast. I'll have a link to their channel. And it's just a good podcast about two seasoned woodworkers talking about woodworking. So I hope that you'll go over there, subscribe, and check it out. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.